He was Russia's best-known political prisoner, according to Kremlin critics. But today, after 10 years in jail, the former tycoon, Mikhail Kordogovsky, is in Berlin after he was freed by his arch-foe, President Putin. In a statement, the once powerful government opponent said he'd asked for a pardon for family reasons, but refused to admit any guilt. His release comes suspiciously close to the Winter Olympics, which Russia will be hosting in February, as our foreign affairs correspondent Jonathan Rugman now reports. Mikhail Khodorkovsky was Russia's ultimate wheeler dealer, once its richest man, before falling foul of its most powerful politician, Vladimir Putin, who has effectively ruled Russia for all of the last 14 years. Today, Mr. Khodorkovsky fled his homeland to Berlin, freed by Mr. Putin after a decade in jail. He had been kept here in a prison near the Arctic Circle. He was facing further charges of fraud and corruption and allowed one 15-minute phone call a week with his parents. But after an epic four-hour press conference yesterday, Mr. Putin announced that Russia's best-known prisoner had asked for a pardon, which would be granted. He has already spent more than 10 years behind bars. It's a tough punishment. He's citing humanitarian reasons. His mother is ill. The president's decree says the pardon was on humanitarian grounds. But Mr. Khodorkovsky says he has made no admission of guilt in exchange for freedom. Amnesty International claims he was a political prisoner, his real crime challenging the power of Mr. Putin himself. He made his money after the Soviet Union's collapse, when perestroika or restructuring really meant get rich quick to a select few. Khodorkovsky, the most successful of the so-called oligarchs. At this meeting in 2003, Putin told Russia's richest men that they should stay out of politics. Khodorkovsky was there, but he had refused to toe the line. He was arrested at gunpoint at this airport later that year, and his oil company, Yukos, was absorbed into the state oil company, his business empire torn apart. Mr. Putin claiming all this was nothing to do with him. Russia officially doesn't have any political prisoners. But on Wednesday, the parliament rubber-stamped Putin's idea of an amnesty which could see thousands free to go. From the pussy riot performers jailed last year to the 30 Greenpeace activists currently on bail though Mr. Khodorkovsky's is a case apart. It comes as a major surprise. I mean, not too long ago, there were, were reports and rumors all across Russia that an additional criminal case was being prepared against Mr. Khodorkovsky. So basically, everybody was expecting that he would be in jail even longer, and all of a sudden, today, he's a free man. Well, doesn't that speak to the power of the Sochi Olympics and uh, uh, Russia about to be on the world stage? Yeah, for somebody who says that he doesn't really care about international opinion, about himself and about Russia, Mr. Putin has once again shown that he actually does care quite a bit. The Winter Olympics begin in February and the Russians are spending almost $50 billion hosting them. And though many less infamous still remain in jail, making a success of Sochi may have melted Mr. Putin's heart.